Welcome to Planning, Management, and Leadership for Health Information Technology, Introduction to Leadership. This is Lecture B. The objectives for this unit, Introduction to Leadership, are to learn the definition of leadership and examine many of the leadership theories underlying the idea of leadership. This presentation will focus on the following theories of leadership, transformational leadership, transactional leadership, charismatic leadership, visionary leadership, and servant leadership. We will start with the transformational leader. According to authors Bass and Riggio, transformational leadership blends together intrinsic motivation and development of followers. Transformational leadership is directed toward the influence and guidance of change in today's complex work environment. There are certain traits associated with transformational leadership. This style of leadership focuses on innovation, vision, and implementing new ideas to move the organization forward. Transformational leaders can inspire followers using a charismatic approach to move beyond acting in their own self-interest and focus more on building and transforming the organization. Transformational leadership provides a better fit for leading today's complex work groups and organizations, where followers not only seek an inspirational leader to help guide them through uncertain environments, but where followers also desire to be challenged and to feel empowered. Research has demonstrated that transformational leadership directly correlated with lowering turnover rates, increases productivity, and brings about a higher level of employee satisfaction. Because a transformational leader inspires followers with challenge and persuasion, it encourages confidence in the follower, which in turn brings about a higher sense of loyalty in the employees. The transformational leaders are those who stimulate and inspire followers to both achieve extraordinary outcomes and, in the process, develop their own leadership capacity. Transformational leaders motivate others to do more than they originally intended, and often more than they thought possible. Transformational leadership is in some ways an expansion of transactional leadership. Transactional leadership emphasizes the exchange that takes place among leaders and followers. Transactional leadership is directed toward task accomplishment and the maintenance of good relations between the leader and followers through consideration of performance and reward. The transactional leader focuses on establishing a formal structure, so followers understand what the required expectations are from the leader. Transactional leaders seek to maintain the status quo and reward subordinates for doing what is expected from them. Because the transactional leader is focused on task accomplishment, they tend to focus on the areas where there are problems in task completion. This is known as management by exception. Transactional leadership behavior is used to bring about an instrumental exchange between the leader and the follower. It is used to maintain or to continue an established pattern. When the desired outcomes are achieved, a transactional leader rewards the follower. Now, let's take a look at charismatic leadership. Charisma, which is defined as that quality that can influence, charm, or inspire others, can be a very powerful tool for a leader at any level in the organization. Charismatic leaders are individuals who transform the nature of work by making it appear more meaningful. This type of leader focuses on transforming the follower's own self-concept by changing the follower's perceptions related to work itself. 
In order to develop charismatic qualities, a leader must be quick to initiate and accept uncertainty confidently. They have to be strong in their ethics. They have to show that they do have a human side. They have to be humorous, and they need to be very hands on and committed to the organization. The success of a charismatic leader depends greatly on being able to listen and act in a timely manner and to support the employees. When looking at visionary leadership, we see that this is a type of leadership that manages transformational change in an organization. Visionary leaders are able to develop, communicate, and foster change or transformational ideas toward the accomplishment of organizational goals through the commitment of organizational resources. Visionary leadership fosters change through development and communication of organizational goals. Followers buy into the leader's vision because they are provided sufficient information and resources to see how their efforts will become instrumental to bringing about the change. The visionary leader possesses the ability to empathize and provides a supportive setting. This type of leader doesn't work outside the box. Rather, this leader makes the box bigger to include others and develop other leaders in the organization. Servant leadership is an approach to leading people that begins with a vision that brings out passion in the leader and commitment in those who follow the leader. This type of leader is a leader who seeks to serve. The phrase servant leadership was developed by Robert Greenleaf in the 1970s. These types of leaders will devote themselves to serving the needs of their organization's followers. They are going to focus on meeting the needs of those they lead through contact and strong communication. Servant leaders develop employees to bring out the best in them and also invest in their future. As a servant leader, you end up acting more as a leader coach and then encourage others' self expression. By facilitating personal growth in all with whom you work, the organization and the leader are able to serve more. The servant leader will listen and build a sense of community to build a bigger and stronger organization. This concludes Lecture B of Introduction to Leadership. In summary, leadership is a process focused on bringing people together to accomplish a set goal for the organization at the highest level of excellence. It evolves according to the environment that the leader will be working in and the goals and objectives that are to be achieved by the organization.